Hello, Mr. Vic. Hello, bro. How you doing? I'm fine. I'm approximately normal. Yeah, obviously. Always approximately normal. Okay, we are still in the euphoria of the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. And we saw South Sudan mm. take on South Africa, our beloved brothers. Of course, um, the match ended two goals to three in favor of South Africa. We saw a police with a double. And of course, Mbata putting the finishing touches to make it a win for South Africa. Of course, if Mbata had not scored that goal, it would have ended in a draw. But thank God he saved the blushes of South Africa. A beautiful game of football. So what are your thoughts on the matchup? Yeah, it was a game for South for South. And yeah. I thought it was going to be a draw for draw. Yeah. But then... The bigger South won. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. So, unique things that happened about this game. The crowd. South Sudan. In Juba, Juba in South Sudan, yeah. and you saw this crowd, even with the rain, they came out to support their own. And that's what we are talking about African football. That's why nobody can take away the glory of African football. Yeah, two great sides, but then you know that one is bigger than the other, mm. and you cannot say anything less. You had a South African team that is 57 in the world. Mm. against a South Sudan of 169th position. Ranking. Can you see the difference? That's FIFA ranking, right? Yeah. Wow. You have a South African team that for the past six games, they've scored 13 goals in six games. Mm. In fact, in five games, it's 12 goals. Mm. In five games, 12 goals. Massive. Massive. That's against a South Sudan that in the last three games they lost the three matches. Boom shakalaka, they lost it all. In the past six games, they never won a game. In past seven, they've won. <laughs> but today they wanted to show their strength as an African team that they were going to at least collect a draw. <sighs> but before I go to that point, we saw a game, a sweet game, a very sweet game. It did not even show that uh, these two sides had a long stretch of difference when it comes to, um, will I say, quality. The South African side started well with almost the same formation. Okay, for me, the same formation when it comes um, from the front line, where you had a uh, Fusta, you had a uh, um, Zwane, you had uh, a police on the left, and who was on the right? God help me, man, help me. I cannot remember. Help me, guys. But then, yeah, I know I will try. But then we saw the, the, the South African side conceding an early PK yeah. at about uh, 13 minutes, mm -hmm. but it was shot around 15 minutes, and that got in. And I think that was a PK, no, no yeah, debate. Yeah. Yeah. There was no Definitely. debate. Yeah, Definitely. it was a PK, Definitely. and it got in. But then, if you go back to our last video where I talked about a police, a police, yes, we know that a police, or swing a police, let me finish today. We know that this guy is talented. We know that this guy is, it, he has what it takes to be a, 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 among, a, a, when you start talking about the top wingers in Africa. Mm. And today he made his mark. I will call him the best, the man of the match. No, who is going to collect that from him then? We saw what happened, how he slotted in the first goal, although he had many chances though. But then we saw how he slotted in the first goal and the second goal. Okay. At the time, yeah, it was yeah, he scored in the second goal and it was two 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 one. But then we also saw the South Sudan guys who were very resilient. And they made it two two. I was like, whoa! These guys are so inside of like, serious. Whoa! Mm. So this could be another draw for South Africa. But then, pick up to Hugo Bruce, who brought that in um, smart uh, changes around the seventy-second minute, where we had a uh, um, uh, we had a uh, um, uh, Kang coming in. We had uh, another sub. We had another sub. Help me, guys! Help me, guys! What a very potential sub I need to talk about. Yes. Why will I forget the uh, um, uh, Renas? Renas of uh, the former uh, Stellenbosch, now a um, Mamalodi guy who yeah. came in and uh, yeah, he did his part. But then we also saw the super sub of who? Talente Mbata. Who at the 90th minute, the free kick was played, the ball came out to him by the bar line. 
and he buried the, that good, beautiful kick. And at the end of the day, yeah, I pity these house stylists, guys. But imagine, I, yeah, I, imagine I, the I pity pain them because mm. they were happy with the draw. Yeah. But then, I would say the better side won because South Africa, even in possession, they won in possession, they won in 12 shots on target. About 19 total of shots, you have 12 on target. Or more. They deserve their flowers. So right now, it's, it's looking so good for South Africa. Mm. It's looking so good for South Africa that won't be. See, if you go by the stats, yes, we are Nigerian. So, but if you go by the stats, you find out that South Africans are supposed to make it to the World Cup. If mm. you go by the stats, mm. the current stats of today, you find out that the South African team, they are supposed to make it to the World Cup. Forget bias. We're not, I'm not biased about when it comes to African football. If you like, bury me. If you like, don't bury me. South African team should make it to the World Cup final mm. with the way things are, unless they will crumble. But mm. with the way things are right now, how many times will I say this? They should be there. Okay? And they show their strength today. Winning three goals to two and then getting that four points that keeps them at the qualifying stage mm. of, the, of the table. Mm. At the second position, yes, but then they are sharing four points, four four with uh, with Uganda. But then let's see how it goes. Um, this is just two games gone, four to go. Come back again in October to share the love, to share the wonderfulness, <laughs> in the, the beautifulness. In of the African football. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Victor. If you enjoyed this conversation and you want to be part of it, you can be part of it in the comment section. Let us know what you feel about the matchup. And of course, once again, congratulations to South Africans for the much-deserved win. If this is your first time of uh, joining this channel or watching our videos, you're very much welcome. We are happy to have you. Welcome to the family of Football Intel. Do well to subscribe. Just below your screen, that subscribe button. Hit on that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. And of course, do not forget the notification bell. When you click on the notification bell, you select all notifications so that as soon as we drop our videos, you'll be the first to be notified, even if you're not on the YouTube app. And of course, to those of you who are subscribers, who I fondly refer to as our family members, we say a big thank you to you guys for joining. Listen, you know the reason why we appreciate you guys is because you guys don't know what you do for us. I mean, if not for the engagement, if you're not watching, if you're not commenting, I mean, what is the essence of the content? We love you guys. Shout out to you guys. Africans all over the world, South African. Tanzanians, Nigerians, we appreciate you or we love you. There is unity in Africa, there's togetherness in Africa. Forget about what people try to propagate or what people try to paint or the picture people try to paint. There is love in Africa and Football Intel is seeing the love and that is why we are distributing that love, making sure we reach out to all other African countries and see what we can get from them. Remember that this is a channel that is propagating African football and we will not relent until that becomes a reality. So thank you so much for the likes, for the shares. Please keep the energy coming. Keep liking, keep sharing, and of course our social media handles. Do not forget to follow us on other social media handles if you have not. And of course, remember that we have opened a new TikTok account. We are not using the old one. The current TikTok account is Football Intel Africa. Follow us on that TikTok account and you get to see lots and lots of content that we have already posted and of course the ones you will get to enjoy. At this juncture, I'll be drawing the curtain. I still remain your agile host of Football Intel platform, Mr. Dominion Chooks. And of course, doing this beside me all the time is my top-notch African soccer analyst, Mr. Victor Sioku. We both are saying bye for now and see ya bonga. See ya bonga. South Africa. South Africa.